Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to celebrate a milestone in American history. In the aftermath of the Civil War, Longhorn cattle ran free, ran free in Texas, and markets in the East had a dire need for beef. To meet that need, the nation called on young cowboys to gather the wild cattle and move them north to the railroads in Kansas. They brought the cattle to stockyard towns like Abilene, Wichita, and Ellsworth. As cattle diseases moved west, cattlemen needed another route to bring cattle north, and in 1874, the Western Trail was pioneered along the Kansas prairies. According to Kansas historians, the Western Cattle Trail would last longer, carry more cattle, and cover a greater distance than any other trail. These historic cattle drives set the stage for today's modern beef industry, where the Big First District is the number one district for beef production in the country. On November 1st and 2nd, the Western Cattle Trail and the International Chisholm Trail Association will celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Western Cattle Trail in Dodge City. I commend those celebrating the history of cattle trails while giving thanks to the farmers, ranchers, stockmen, and communities who continue to the cowboy tradition while helping to feed the world. Thank you, and I yield back.